chemical version. I love chocolate cake. And when I was a boy, I loved it even more. Sometimes we used to have it for tea, and mum used to say, if there's any leftover, you can have it to take to school tomorrow to have a playtime. And the next day, I would take it to school, wrapped up in tin foil, open it at playtime, and sit in the corner of the playground, eating it. You know how the icing on the top is all shiny, and it cracks as you break into it. And there's that other kind of icing in the middle and it sticks to your hands and you can lick your fingertips and lick your lips. Oh, it's lovely, yeah. Anyway, once we had this chocolate cake for tea and later I went to bed. But while I was in bed, I found myself waking up, licking my lips and smiling. Mmm. I woke up proper. The chocolate cake. It was the first thing I thought of. I could almost see it, so I thought, what if I go downstairs and have a little nibble, yeah? It was all dark, everyone was in bed, so it must have been really late. But I got out of bed, crept out the door. There's always a creaky floorboard, isn't there? Passed mum and dad's room, careful not to tread on the bits of broken toys or bits of Lego. You know what it's like treading, treading on Lego with your bare feet. Yow! Shh! Downstairs, into the kitchen, open the cupboard, and there it is, all shining. So I take it out of the cupboard, put it on the table, and I see that there's just a few crumbs lying about on the plate. So I lick my finger. I run my finger all over the crumbs, scooping them up and put them in my mouth. Mmm, nice. Then, I look again, and on one side where it's been cut, it's all crumbly, so I take a knife. I think I'll just tidy it up a bit. Cut off the crumbly bits, scoop them up and into the mouth. Mmm, mmm, nice. Look at the cake again. Well, that side looks a bit funny now. One side doesn't match the other. I'll just even it up a bit, yeah? Take the knife and slice. This time, the knife makes a little cracky noise as it goes through that hard icing on top. A whole slice this time. Into the mouth. Oh, the icing on top and the icing in the middle. Ooh, ooh. But now, I can't. Stop myself. Knife. I take just any old slice at it, and I've got this great big chunk, and I'm cramming it in. What a greedy pig, but it's so nice. And there's another, and another, and I'm squealing, and I'm smacking my lips, and I'm stuffing myself with it. And before I know, I've eaten the whole I look at the plate. It's all gone. Oh no. They're bound to notice, aren't they? The whole chocolate cake doesn't just disappear, does it? What shall I do? I know. I'll wash the plate up and the knife and put them away. And maybe no one will notice, eh? So I do that and creep, creep, creep back to bed into bed and doze off, licking my lips with a lovely feeling in my belly. Mmm. In the morning, I get up, downstairs, have breakfast. Mum's saying, have you got dinner, money? And I say, yes. And don't forget to take some chocolate cake with you. I stop breathing. What's the matter? She says, you normally jump at chocolate cake. I'm still not breathing. And she's looking at me very closely now. She's looking at me just below my mouth. What's that? She says. What's what? I say, what's that there? Where? There, she says, pointing at my chin. 
I don't know, I say. Looks like chocolate, she says. It's not chocolate cake, is it? No answer. Is it? I don't know. She goes to the cupboard, looks in. Up to top. Middle. Bottom. Turns back to me. It's gone. It's gone. You haven't eaten it, have you? I don't know. You don't know? You don't know if you've eaten a whole chocolate cake or not? When? When did you eat it? So I told her and she said, well, what could she say? That's the last time I give you any cake to take to school. Now go, get out. No, wait, not before you've washed your dirty, sticky face. I went upstairs, looked in the mirror. And there it was, just below my mouth. A chocolate smudge. A giveaway. Maybe she'll forget by next week. <laughs>